you have your Bibles, I'd like to turn to the book of Hebrews. Just reading one verse, first verse. <clears throat> Fourth chapter. It said, Let us therefore fear, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, if any should seem to come short of it. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the service up to this time. And for the Holy Spirit, God, which we felt, for the prayers that you're going to answer. We just thank you, God, for saving our souls and for keeping us, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'd like for use for a text this morning. I've used this text before, but I'm not sure exactly if it'd be the same message or not. But uh, I'd like to use for a, a thought where it says, uh, seem to come short of it. I'd like to use for a thought on... Coming up short. And uh, I'm sure that every one of us at one time or another in our life has came up short on things. I went to make a house payment the other day and I told my wife, I said, isn't this a blessing? And she said, what's that? I said, the house payment came due and I wrote a check and paid it. Uh, when I was a working, when we first started and I was a working and stuff, uh, you'd be going all right for a while, and then all of a sudden your company would go on strike for about three months. And sometimes you had to rob Peter, as the old saying is, to pay Paul. And you'd come up short on trying to get your bills paid. And then you'd have to make it up, and about the time you get straightened up real good, uh, something else would seem to happen. And so every one of us seemed like maybe has come up short, even Christians at times come up short. They come up short in praying, or they come up short in reading the Word of God, or they come up short in church attendance, or tithing, or, or something. Sometimes they'll, they'll come up short. Even, as I read the Scriptures, there was five out of seven churches and revelations that came up short. Uh, God said He knew their works. And the very first one, uh, which was Ephesus, they left their first love. And Pergamos, uh, they, uh, some of them was uh, uh, going, uh, to, to living and teaching the doctrine of Baal. And then the third one, Tyathira, uh, she had a woman prophetess uh, that uh, claimed, to, or claimed to be a prophet. And she was seducing men to commit fornication. And the fourth church, which was Laodicea, uh, they said uh, uh, they wasn't uh, uh, hot or cold, they were just lukewarm. And the Lord said that if you was lukewarm, He'd spew you out. The fifth church, they said they, they was alive, but they were dead. And so we find that across the nation today. A lot of churches that says they're alive and they're deader than four o'clock. Now, I don't know where that expression, four o'clock, came. Uh, but anyway, uh, people have the tendency sometimes uh, to come up short in things. I was reading in the Word of God one time, where that a king come up short. His name was Belshazzar. His father was a king. His father was named Nebuchadnezzar. But Belshazzar one day decided that he was going to throw a party. And he got thousands of his lords and his wives and his concubines and they began to drink and to carry on. But the biggest mistake he made, now all of them was mistakes, uh, according to the word of God, uh, he shouldn't have had wives and concubines, you know. Uh, but anyway, he sat down and got the vessels, uh, my friend, that his father had got out of the temple and he began to praise God the gods of gold and the gods of silver and the gods of clay and and the gods of stone and he thought he was having a good time when all of a sudden uh, on the plastered wall he saw the four parts of a man's hand and it began to write and the Bible said 
Uh, it scared this man. Uh, his countenance changed. And he went and got all of his intelligent, or was supposed to be, intelligent men and soothsayers and astrologers. Uh, and he said, I want you to tell me what this says. Uh, and if you do, he says, uh, I'll put a gold round your neck, uh, a chain of gold around your neck, uh, and I'll give you fine garments to wear, uh, and you can be ranked third in my kingdom. Uh, uh, but brother, they all came up and looked at it, uh, and none of them could understand it. Uh, uh, sometimes I think of the world uh, uh, whenever they read the Bible. Uh, uh, brother, a lot of that is spiritually discerned, uh, and it's not a natural thing, uh, and they don't understand it. But these men, uh, uh, they couldn't understand it. Uh, uh, whenever the queen, which happened to be uh, his mother, uh, uh, the queen came there uh, and she was telling him about a man uh, by the name of Daniel. Uh, uh, he says she told him uh, about Daniel and what, uh, uh, how he could do these things, uh, how he could interpret dreams, uh, how he could read these things. Uh, and they went and got Daniel uh, and Daniel talked to him uh, and said to him and reminded him uh, of his father. Uh, how that God had blessed his father uh, uh, to become such a powerful man. Uh, uh, but Nebuchadnezzar uh, in all his pride uh, uh, would lift up God. Uh, and God caused him uh, uh, to act like an animal. Uh, get down and eat grass. Uh, and the dew came upon him. Uh, uh, my friend, until finally uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar recognized uh, who God was. Uh, and he reminded uh, uh, Belshazzar of this uh, and he said uh, and you knew that uh, and yet you fooled around uh, and done the same thing uh, with your pride uh, he said you want to know uh, uh, what that says uh, it says many many uh, tell you person uh, uh, brother uh, and the middle part uh, uh, TKL said uh, you've been weighed and bounced uh, and found wanting uh, in other words uh, uh, brother you've come up short uh, and the Bible said uh, uh, that his countenance changed uh, and that night uh, uh, he died uh, uh, brother I tell you something uh, I wouldn't want to come up short uh, on the day of judgment uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, the Lord steps out on the throne uh, and he don't see the blood uh, applied to my life uh, and I come up short uh, uh, because I never accepted uh, uh, the supreme sacrifice uh, uh, brother and I hear him say uh, uh, depart ye uh, uh, that work iniquity uh, uh, for I never knew you uh, uh, brother, but there was others uh, in the Word of God uh, uh, that came up short. Uh, uh, just like today, uh, they are both uh, uh, possessors uh, and there's professors. Uh, uh, my friend, many, many people uh, uh, profess to be a Christian, uh, uh, but to possess being a Christian. The Bible said in the 25th chapter uh, of the book of Matthew, uh, there was ten virgins, uh, five Five wives, uh, uh, five foolish. Uh, uh, my friend, five of them came up uh, uh, prepared uh, uh, with oil in the vessels uh, while they waited uh, uh, for the bridegroom to come. Uh, and five of them uh, didn't bring no oil. Uh, uh, brother, at midnight uh, uh, when the cry came out uh, and all of them slumbered and slept, uh, brother, but five of them uh, uh, really came up short. Short. Uh, they had no light. Uh, uh, brother, uh, one of these days uh, uh, the bridegroom's coming, or the bride, yeah, the bridegroom, because uh, the church is the bride, uh, and we're going to meet him. Uh, uh, but those that professed uh, and never possessed uh, and uh, had no spirit in their life, uh, never had God in their life, uh, uh, my friend, they'll be like these, uh, and they'll come up short. 
short. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, people come up short uh, uh, whenever they've got something. Uh, God one time blessed a man. Uh, all his, uh, his barns was so full. Uh, he said, I know what I'll do. Uh, he said, I'll just turn them down uh, and I'll build some bigger ones. Uh, uh, but the Lord said, uh, uh, this night thy life is required of thee. Uh, uh, say, my friend, uh, have you come up short this week? Uh, uh, have you come up short uh, in reading the word? Uh, have you come up short uh, in praying? Uh, oh, my friend, Christians uh, are to keep a prayer on the end of their lips uh, all the time. Uh, I don't mean you have to be knelt down, uh, uh, but I want you to know something. Uh, I just love this time. I actually love all times of the year, uh, but this time seemed like this year. Uh, I've noticed it more than anything. Uh, now, there's nothing wrong or sinful uh, who people want to travel uh, and go see places, uh, but I don't know why, uh, especially this day and time. Uh, you go west, you'll burn. Uh, you go south, you'll have a drown. Uh, but here in this part of the country, uh, with the rolling hills so green, uh, and a God uh, that's made it that way uh, and puts a joy in your heart, and if it all come to an end it don't do nothing but get any better because one of these days as that preacher said I'm about to run Frank one of these days he's a coming and I can't wait I know I'm happy me and my wife sits out on the front porch my friend with the breeze blowing we get so tickled the other morning I woke up about 2 o'clock clock uh, and I'd heard her go to the bathroom and I'd got up uh, and I looked and it said two o'clock. I said, just two o'clock? Uh, I wished it would be three. Uh, she said, why? Uh, I said, it's at three I'd stay up uh, because I'm used to getting up at four and it's only an hour away. Uh, and we just laughed. Uh, two o'clock in the morning uh, somebody laughing. Uh, I tell you what, uh, you come to my house, uh, you love to hear us laughing anytime. Uh, I love to laugh. I call my nephew on the phone sometimes and I can't even say hello until I'm out of breath laughing. And him on the other side just laughing just as hard. You say maybe you're crazy. I may be, but if that's crazy, make me crazy more often because Jesus has made me happy. People come up short in the Word of God. Uh, my friend, but I'm asking you today, uh, are you coming up short? Uh, there's all kinds of illustrations uh, I could give you, but I'm just going to say this much. Uh, on the day that the Lord returns, uh, if the blood's not applied to your life, uh, you'll have to be saying uh, uh, that you come up short uh, because you didn't have the blood, uh, you didn't repent, uh, uh, my friend, and it'll be too late. Oh, there's nothing in the world like being a Christian. Yeah, preacher, but you can't do this, and you can't do that. I've said this before. It don't make me a bit upset or mad if my wife don't fix peas, because I don't care for them. Now, I can eat them, but I don't like them. And it don't make me a bit mad. You know what? When you get saved, it don't make you mad to stay out of the world. It don't make you mad because you're happy where you're at. Amen. Amen. Well, if I have to say so myself, that's good. Thank the Lord Jesus is real. And I don't know why anybody would come up short. It says here, where to say it at? Over here. It says, Let us therefore fear. Why? The world don't act like they fear God no more. It, 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 things has changed so much just in my lifetime. I've watched it change. They wonder why. Let's take prayer out of the school. Let's don't discipline there no more. Let me say something. If I had, if I had some younger people here hunting a job that was 21 years old, I could tell you where to get one, and you'd never get laid off. And that's up the county jail. You take the prayer out of the school, you take discipline out of the school, 
Parents can't beat them too much because, and the Bible said beat them. You know, it'll not hurt them. Now, that's a difference in taking a, just take a club to one. In other words, discipline, Amen. you know. You take that away from them, you know, and then they wonder why the jails are so full, you know. Well, listen to this. Let us therefore fear, at least the promise being left of us of entering into his rest, if any of you seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So he said it's by grace through faith believing. What do you mean, preacher? Well, the grace is an undeserving love or the unmerited love of God. That's grace. And faith is, you know, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I think I give this illustration one time about giving Frank a title to a 55 Chevy. Signed the title over to him. He'd go around telling everybody he had a 55, and they said, well, how you know you ain't seen it? Yeah, but I got the substance of the thing hoped for right here. I got the title right here in my hand. I tell you what, I'm not in heaven yet, but I got the evidence that we're going. Uh, there's an evidence that we're going because of the Holy Spirit, third part of the Trinity. And this morning, I'd like for us to stand. I want to ask you a question. Have you come up short? If you're a Christian and you've come up short, that's why that we have Jesus. We've got an advocate we can go to. You say, preacher, but can I pray at home? Well, absolutely. Just remember when it comes to your mind home, pray at home. Don't say, well, I'll wait till I get to church. Something might happen. You may not get to church. But if you're here and you're lost, you don't want to come up short on the day of judgment. I want to invite you. Just as they sang a verse or two of invitation.